In 1949, Austin Carr set up a factory in Wales to produce the J40, a pedal car that resembled the A40 Devon and Dorset motor cars, and they became very popular, even being used in the 1955 Norman Wisdom film One Good Turn, but in 1971 production ceased. Now forward 53 years and here I am standing outside the Austin pedal car showroom. Let's go inside and take a look. I'm here to speak to Matt Merriman who is customer services and HR manager of the Austin Pedal Car Company. So Matt, the story starts back in 1949 and the yeah. very first prototype was the Pathfinder, is that right? Yeah, so the Pathfinder is the first Austin Pedal Car. Yeah. Uh, it's a single seat one, so it looks quite different to one of the ones we have here. Yeah. But there was 3,100 made of them. And I was hoping to see one today, but you've sold it, haven't uh, you? Yeah, I've sold that one, unfortunately. <laughs> so yeah, so it's not, it's not here today. Yeah. Um, where they are obviously rarer, it's um, a little bit more difficult to get hold of those. Yeah. Um, so it's people obviously having them in quite high demand. Yeah. Now these were based on the A40 um, Dorset and yes. Devon yeah, yeah. cars. What would you have got when you bought these back in the early days when they were out? So it's a great bit of engineering, really, but essentially it's quite rudimentary how it works. Okay. So you have the, you have the pedal system. So with that, you obviously have the pedal boxes at the bottom, so you can you can pedal. Yeah. And then there's three free running hubs and one one fixed hub that drives the wheel. And then it, underneath the bonnet, you have a battery and spark plugs with an engine bay. The battery powers the horn and the headlights. Uh, and then also with it, you've got the Dunlop cord tires as well. Right. The earlier ones also came with the um, iconic flying A. Yeah. Uh, they took those away in time because, oh, what a shame. because of health and safety. Yeah, the same uh, they thought the, they were too sharp for the children, so they were taken away. So here you do the spares, you do the parts, you restore, you sell yes. them, is that yeah. right? Yeah, that's right. Uh, we do full restorations, we do services, so uh, to make, if people are entering the Central and Cup at Goodwood, we're able to do a service and make sure that everything's right, so we'll go through scrutineering. Uh, we do services for people like the pedal assembly's gone wrong or something like that, we can yeah. look at it and then we make all the parts as well. And then if we're doing full restorations, we do all the metal work, paint, everything like that as well. So Matt, this yeah. one here would have been from a fairground ride, is that right? Yeah, so quite a few of the J40s ended up on fairground rides, yeah. quite a like, historic picture actually of them going around on like, the carousels or something yeah. like that. Um, they could have gone straight from the factory to fairgrounds or they were picked up afterwards. Right. We've seen quite a few different adaptations for how they've gone on a fairground ride or been towed or something like that. This one here you've picked up, is this going to be restored or are you going to keep this as an no. example of... No, we like it how it is. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's different with the, uh, the line and that on the front. I don't yeah. think you'll ever see another one like it. So True, yeah, it's, gonna... it's pretty unique. I guess it would spoil it if you uh, restored this one. Yeah, well. things like this, so we're, we're really passionate about trying to keep as many as original as possible. Yeah. And this is effectively a one-off, so yeah. we wouldn't strip it back and restore it. I think this one will be kept yeah. collection as is. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? It, it looks really cool, yeah. So this showroom is fantastic with all these J40 cars, but stay tuned because in a moment we're going to reveal the brand new J40, which is the legacy version. Only 49 of these have been made, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and become part of our classic car community by joining with our blog at www.downatthebarns.uk. This one is a special one, isn't it? Why? Uh, yeah, this is one of our premier restorations. Uh, so we have done the full work restoration on this one. So blasted it back to bare metal, yeah. primed, painted, got all new parts. So this is one of our top restorations. And it looks really, really special. So how much would one cost like this that's been done like this? So this one's 13,000. Right. Um, and it's because it's at that top, top concourse level, uh, with things with like paint protection and things like that as yeah. well. So let's talk about what happens when you purchase one like this. So you get this, what else do you get with it? You get a car cover and you get a really nice folder that if it's at an age where you can trace the serial number, you get the authenticity certificate from the British Motor Museum in a nice leather bound folder with an Austin Parker pen. So you get a few little bits with it and what's really good with this certificate is it tells the story. Yeah. It says year of manufacture, who it was originally sold to, 
and what the original colour was. So Brilliant. you can really get a good story with the car as well. Yeah, yeah. So if you've got a J40, if you own one or did own one, or you have memories of one of these as a child, please leave it in the comments below because we don't know what you think. Did you leave it out in the rain? Did it rust? I bet you got it now if you did because they're worth quite a bit of money. And if you are interested, please get in touch with the car company here and they can put you in touch with some of these cars and maybe interested in purchasing one from you. This is a bit snazzy, isn't it? Yeah, so this is a, <laughs> uh, a very unique paint job. Uh, it's still an original car. Right. Uh, we've just decided to uh, restore it in a slightly different way. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely got that eye catching look it. Has, to it has, yeah. Um, obviously, the rest of the body and everything is still back at the factory, but uh, it's a very unique paint. Yeah, yeah. proves you can have whatever style you want. Exactly, guess, yeah. yeah, exactly. You yeah. can really go for it, right from the sort of fairground one to this look, this you know, look which, yeah. is, which is amazing. Now, that moves us nicely onto our reveal, which we're coming to in a moment which is this one, because this is actually part of the prototype of the new one. Isn't yes, it? so this is a prototype for our legacy model. Uh, as you can see, we've left it in the brushed aluminium. Um, it's handcrafted aluminium body. Uh, so what you can see here is it's stayed as is, so we can test it. So we've got all the components, all the parts on here, but we've been using this one for testing for the legacy model. Mm. Now, time to reveal the legacy model. Only 49 are going to be made of these. Okay, hit the turntable. And this is it. This, this is wonderful it. car here is the Legacy. Tell us all about it, Matt. So this is our new continuation car. So it continues on from the J40. Uh, as you can see, looks-wise, we've tried to keep it in keeping with the original J40 style. Yeah. Uh, but underneath is very different. Right, tell us about that. What's different? So it's handmade aluminium body. Right. And then all the com all the components and parts are made in house on our CNC machines in Salisbury. Uh, we have a speedometer which is run by GPS, right. so you can see how fast you're going. <laughs> um, we have a, a battery level which comes up like a fuel gauge, so okay. you can, your fuel level is how much battery you've got there. Brilliant. Like the original J40, it's got operating headlights, and then we have new leather interior with a, with a handbrake system Brilliant. and we also have the wooden embossed steering wheels but as you can see it's a, it's a work of art. It is, it's really really nice. So how much will one of these cost because that's what people are going to So these retail for £25,000 right, okay. uh, and like, like you said earlier 49 are being made. 49 being made, that's in homage to 1949. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's really really good. Yeah. I was wondering about the GPS, I thought if I take my child to Sainsbury's with this, if I lose them I know where they are in the car park. <laughs> well you love to think if you lose them, then, uh, you'll be able to find them with one of these anyway. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Let's have a more detailed look at the car though, yeah, shall we? Yes. So here Matt, we have the real workings of what's going on underneath the J40. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this is the, the pedal gear and everything for our Legacy Edition. As you can see, it's still got pedals. Yeah. But everything else has changed compared to the original J40. Uh, it's all aluminium parts that we machine in our in-house machine shop. Right. And we've got a rack and pinion steering system. You've got a, a cable operated disc brake. And then we still keep that pedal motion. Yeah. So it's is in keeping with the original, but obviously it's a lot smoother. Uh, they'll be able to go a lot quicker than an yeah. original one. And then we've got the additional things like we've got the artillery style wheels on it as well. So it's just a really good thing to display to show obviously what goes into the legacy model yeah. and the amount of engineering that's gone into making it. Can we have a look at this handbrake? Of course you can. Yeah, yeah. So operates that like that with the cable disc brake on the yeah. back and then the trigger release. Brilliant. So Matt, over here we have the spares in the show. We do a lot of spares, don't you? Tell us about that. Yeah, so we make pretty much every spare part for the J40. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Make them all at our factory in Salisbury uh, to original specification. So not only does that help maintain the originality of an existing pedal car, but also if you want to enter the race at the Central Cup at Goodwood, uh, you need to have, go through scrutineering, so you need to have original specification parts. Mm. So we press everything and make everything in house to those specifications. So now, Goodwood is a big day for you in the diary, isn't it? Yes. So they have the Sexton Cup at Goodwood, which is where the children race the J40s. Yeah. Uh, they do a race a day over two days. It's a really big event, 
and it obviously boosts the exposure of the J40 in, in yeah. general, but you need to go through scrutineering to be able to qualify for it. So right. that's where, where it brings our parts in. You can buy our parts and put them on your car and go through the race. Yeah, which is brilliant, isn't it? So in the corner of your showroom, you have this rather wonderful book, don't you? Yeah, so we've got the Austin pedal car story. Yeah. Uh, we've commissioned to make this book. Uh, the book was written by David Wiley, who's a key person in the Austin history. He knows everything that you need to know about Austin. He's written this book for us. Uh, we've gone through and we've found right from the early beginnings of the J40, found out all the information about how it started, the story of the miners who went and worked at Bargoed and started making the J40s. Yeah. So it's a really in-depth history on it from start to finish, all the way up to when we've taken on Austin pedal cars, yeah. what we're doing now. And it's fair to say you guys are incredibly passionate about all of this. That's what's oh, probably yeah. all of this, isn't Massively. it? Massively. Uh, yeah. We've really looked back at the history and we, we just love the love everything about it so yeah. to be able to get it all together in one book yeah. has been a really it's good accomplishment for so us. if you want this book go to amazon you'll find the link there and on the austin pedal car website as well yeah isn't so it? austinpedalcars.com uh, you can find the link to the book on there brilliant so if you've enjoyed watching this video please make sure you subscribe to the channel all the details for the austin pedal cars are in the link below and if you'd like to see a real a40 in action check out this video about Bob. It's a bittersweet story of owning a great classic car.